Hello everyone, my name is Dan Boston. I live in Montreal, Canada, and I have a great passion for organic food and sustainability. Today is January 19, 2020. I have recently published a video about the possibility of growing fruit trees in colder climates than they normally grow by using a thermo-efficient unheated greenhouse that can enhance the local climate zone by four zones. At the end of that video, I promise to follow up with some more images of the indoor organic orchard that we created inside this experimental greenhouse, which is located in the province of Quebec, Canada, in climate zone 4. I have also mentioned that I will share my thoughts about how we can all benefit the fastest possible from this organic and ecologic solution. So first, here are some images of the indoor orchard and the experimental greenhouse. The first images are from the end of last winter, on April 13, 2019, outside of our greenhouse. As we walk inside the greenhouse, we can see some young fruit trees in full bloom. These are some apricot trees. This is a cherry tree in bloom. About two weeks later, the nectarine trees were in bloom. And also the peach trees. Around mid-June, the first cherry started to ripen. This particular tree has two kinds of delicious cherries, yellow and red. The first apricots started to ripen towards the end of July and continued the entire month of August. Around mid-August, the peaches and nectarines started to ripen and continued towards the end of September. Our red table grapes started to ripen mid-August. Followed by these delicate and delicious yellow table grapes during the month of September. And finally our fig trees, which went through winter without any special protection. Their fruits started to ripen around mid-August and continued through the month of September.
I cannot describe the joy of growing, harvesting and tasting all these delicious and organic fruits, which so far could not be grown in our cold climate region. And I must also admit that ever since I saw clearly that this is possible, I cannot stop thinking how it could help everyone living in a cold or temperate region to enjoy a much larger variety of tasty and healthy fruits grown locally either by themselves or by other people located in their proximity. So here are my thoughts on this. Please take a moment and imagine that we would have such indoor orchards all around our villages, towns and cities. Imagine that you could walk in any of these places and see for yourself how those fruit trees are being grown and become fully convinced their fruits are indeed 100% organic. Imagine that any of you could also have your own mini indoor orchard with your favorite fruit trees in your backyard or a much larger one in your community garden. Or you may be so passionate about it that you will become a, a full-time organic fruit grower or you may decide to start building ecological greenhouses for other people who want to grow organic fruits and vegetables. Then imagine that gradually every school will also have its own indoor garden and orchard, where kids of all ages will plant seeds, take care of plants and trees, and then eat with joy and pride the delicious and healthy fruits of their work. Imagine that our dear elderly people will also have their own Garden of Eden full of beautiful plants and trees which will keep them active like bumblebees all day long, healthy and happy, enjoying the delicate fragrances and flavors of their flowers and fruits. And then also imagine that one day we will decide to start building self-sustainable towns all around the world, beautiful, healthy, fulfilling and relaxing places of living and working in harmony with nature and with each other as we have never experienced yet. Now you may say it is nice and easy to imagine these nice developments, but the question is how can we get there? And also can we get there not in a few decades, but in just a few years? My firm response to these questions is yes, we can get there much faster than we think through our synergic interaction and creativity with the condition that we all want that dearly enough. So I'm launching you an invitation to a synergic project worldwide, whose main goal is to encourage and support growing locally a much larger variety of tasty and healthy fruits beyond the limitations of our local climate. I am inviting you to Fruits Without Borders, Free Sans Frontières, a sustainable project worldwide which will allow us to grow an unprecedented abundance of delicious and organic fruits everywhere in the world by sharing and implementing everything that we know right now in this domain and by improving it further through our joint efforts. If you like the idea of such a project, then the next logical question would be how can each one of us participate in this project? In what I am concerned, I plan to refine our Plus 4 Zones experimental greenhouse into an improved prototype that can then be produced in any size desired, from a mini indoor orchard to a large size commercial greenhouse. And I will also focus on testing different solutions to maximize the fruit productivity of the indoor orchard. All along, I will share the results of my work and offer assistance to everyone interested in building their own indoor orchard or starting a lucrative business as an organic fruit grower or becoming a local manufacturer of ecological greenhouses. On the other hand, we have to keep in mind that there are a good number of other passionate people all around the world who have also dedicated their time, effort, money and creativity to various aspects of organic and sustainable agriculture and they have achieved remarkable results and accumulated valuable knowledge and experience we will have to reach out to each one of them and invite them to join our efforts together. And then there are more and more people like yourself who are becoming increasingly aware of the importance of the quality of the food we are eating every day and its direct impact on our health. Some of you have your own green project and would like to expand it or increase its efficiency, while some may have nourished the idea of starting such a project either of your own or within your community. 
and many others are enthusiastic and precious supporters of those who dedicated their careers to growing locally and providing delicious and organic food to their communities. So imagine that we will be able to bring together in a synergic effort all these passionate and enthusiastic people with their knowledge, experience and support and you will see how feasible it will be to achieve fruitful results everywhere in the world in just a few years. Now all this said, I think the most important thing at this point would be to hear your opinion about it. So in line with the interactive nature of this project, I will stop this presentation here and suggest each one of you to reflect on this proposed venture and express your comments, suggestions and questions so we can all determine how we should best proceed. You may also want to share this video with your friends, family and colleagues who may be interested to watch it and express their opinion as well. In the meantime, I will start working on a few more videos on some more detailed aspects such as the little story of building our experimental greenhouse, the core concept based on which the Plus for Zones greenhouse is conceived, the main advantages of growing fruit trees and grapevines in indoor orchards, the 100% organic and self-sustainable growing method, and some others. Thank you for watching.